everyone. I wanted to provide you with some information today on how to create a PowerPoint presentation with a voice overlay. This is something that you may see in some of your assignments in your classroom, so just wanted to give you the information up front so that you're prepared when you do see this assignment come up. First, a few steps about preparing your PowerPoint presentation. A few things to keep in mind. Um, you want to be mindful of the background color and the text color that you're using. Typically, a white background with black text is the easiest to read, so just make sure that whatever you choose to use for your own presentation, make sure it's easy for someone else to read. You also want to use a font that's easy to read. Sometimes the cursive and script fonts can be very difficult to read, so keep that in mind as well. When you're doing a slide, you want to use bullets to summarize information rather than writing in large paragraphs. Um, again, makes it easier to read and it gives brief points on what you're trying to address in your presentation. And also, it's okay to use graphics to help illustrate your point, but don't overuse them. I typically use them about every two or three slides. I'll use one small graphic um, just to help illustrate the point that I'm expressing. So what you want to do is after you feel like your slides are complete, you want to save your PowerPoint presentation in a folder on your computer that's dedicated to that specific course. Um, you want it easy to locate later and you want to make sure that you have the correct version. So in order to do that, make sure that you name the file logically and clearly identifying what the presentation is about. So for example, maybe week two teaching assignment. After you save the document, you have a few ways in which you can record a voice overlay. You can either do it through recording audio or through recording a slideshow. The first method, recording audio, and the way that you're going to do this is with your completed PowerPoint presentation open, you're going to be sure that you're on the first slide and that you have some kind of recording device. Um, many laptop computers um, do have a microphone built in, but if you don't or if you're unsure, you may want to purchase a headset, which is pictured off to the right-hand side. Um, the headset must have a built-in microphone. It will make it a lot easier and will likely make your voice recording more clear. Next, you want to go to the Insert menu at the top of your screen and select the Audio drop-down menu on the far right side of the menu bar. Then you're going to select Record Audio. The record audio box, which is pictured on the screen, will open. You're going to click on the red dot, which is the record button, and wait about three seconds before you start to speak. After you've finished speaking about each slide, you're going to click OK to stop the recording. And then you'll click on the next slide and repeat steps two through four. So in this method, you are recording your voice for each slide. You're stopping the recording and you're restarting on the next slide. So it's one slide at a time. Once you have recorded audio for each slide, you're going to see the speaker icon show up. If you click on the picture of the speaker, there's a volume and play bar, which is pictured on the screen, that will show up. And then you'll also get an audio tools menu at the top of your screen, which looks like the toolbar listed or pictured at the bottom of your screen now. If you click on the playback menu, you're gonna select automatically from the dropdown. You can see the red arrow is pointing to it now. By selecting automatically, this means that your voice overlay will start and play each time you advance to the next slide. You're going to repeat this action on each slide, so that means on slide one, you're going to change the drop down to automatically, then go to slide two, go back to that box, change that to automatically, and so on. So you'll do it for each slide that you have created. So you want to be sure that you always save your presentation, um, and especially after you've recorded all your audio, make sure it is saved. The second method, which is record slideshow, is actually the one that we recommend using. So what you want to do is open your completed PowerPoint presentation again. Be sure that you're on the first slide. You're going to go to the slideshow tab at the top of the page and select start recording from beginning from the record slideshow drop down menu. Again, you can see the red arrow directing you to that record slideshow drop down menu. You're going to start speaking again after about three seconds and hit the right arrow or the enter button to advance to the next slide when you're done with each slide. When you transition from one slide to the next, you're going to want to pause a little bit in your speaking. Give it about two seconds for the, the slide transition to take place. And be sure that you, again, be sure that you save your presentation after you've recorded all of your audio. As I mentioned before, we strongly recommend that students use the record slideshow option. Um, it's a 
it records the total presentation time and the time spent on each individual slide. So if your assignment states that you have to do a 20 minute teaching presentation, your you'll be able to keep track of how long your presentation is as you're recording the audio because again it, it counts the time for you. You'll avoid the need to update each slide to automatically if you use this method. And then the instructor's view is going to be more representative of a professional presentation if you choose to record the slideshow rather than the other option. So just to give you an idea, let's try this together with this current PowerPoint presentation and we'll show you how to record the slideshow. Okay, so using our current presentation as an example, I want to show you how to get started recording audio over this presentation. So as we mentioned, our recommendation is that you use the record slideshow option. So what we're going to do is go to the icon at the top of your screen, click on it to show the drop down menu and select start recording from beginning. Now after I do that, you're going to see a box come up. It says select what you want to record before you begin recording. We're going to unclick narrations and laser pointer and then hit start recording. Now you can see in the left hand side of your screen there's a box up here. The first counter is the slide time. So this is how much time I'm spending speaking about this first slide. And then the second time you'll see this will be a running time. So as I switch slides this one will keep counting so you know how long the total presentation is. So let's get started and I'll give you a little example. Today we want to go over how to create a PowerPoint presentation with a voice overlay so that you can use these skills in an upcoming course. Here are a few tips as you start to prepare your PowerPoint presentation. And again, these are the steps we went through before. If you notice at the top here, when I changed the slide, the number started over again, the counter started over again, this first one. And again, the second one is keeping track of the total time spent on the presentation. As I mentioned previously, you can hit enter to advance the slide, you can hit the right arrow on your keyboard, or you can hit this arrow up on the recording bar at the top. So again, here are some more tips on how to prepare your PowerPoint presentation. Be sure that the presentation is saved in a folder on your computer and named so that you can clearly identify what's in the presentation. Watch the time at the top. I'm going to change slides. Here's the next slide. Method one, recording audio. So with your completed PowerPoint presentation open, be sure that you're on the first slide and then you have a recording device. And again, we would go through each of the bullet points on the slide. Come up here. Now, if you feel like you need to regroup a little bit or collect your thoughts, you can hit the pause button. So there's a pause recording button here. So if you hit that, just take a second, collect yourself if you need to take a break or um, rethink some of the notes you have. It's going to pick up right where you left off as soon as you're ready. So you'll go ahead and hit resume recording when you're ready. And you'll see the counters will resume. So go ahead and continue talking. Um, give yourself a second to take a break if you need it um, so that you don't have to start from the beginning with your presentation. So feel free to do that whenever necessary. And we'll advance to the next slide. Again, more instructions on how to record your audio. Next slide. A few more steps. Method two, recording your slideshow, which is what we're doing right now. So again, use this example presentation that we're doing now and the step-by-step -step instructions that we reviewed first um, to walk yourself through the process. And again, if you use the record slideshow method, it's going to look more like a professional presentation. So we do recommend that you use this. And then this is the end of my presentation. Thank you all for listening today. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> So we're going to advance one last time and we're at the end of our presentation. So it's telling me that the total time for my slideshow was 2 minutes and 49 seconds. Do you want to save the new slide timings? Now I'm going to hit yes because what happened is I recorded all of the audio that I wanted. So when I hit yes, next time I open this PowerPoint presentation, you will see on the right hand side of your screen that there is a little gray speaker icon. That means that your audio was recorded and if you advance through the slides you can see that it is on each slide where we spoke as we were going through our presentation. So you can see that little voice recording icon in the bottom right hand corner. 
Now, if you want to double check your audio, you'll go, you'll open your presentation, make sure that speaker is there. And then on the first slide, you're going to come over again to the slideshow menu and all the way to the left, you're going to hit start from beginning, which is this far left icon. So what that's going to do is it's going to open up your presentation in the presentation format and it's going to start playing the presentation that you just recorded with the same timing that we did for each slide. So again, if you spent 30 seconds on a slide, it's going to go through, stay on one slide for 30 seconds, um, play your voice recording, and then it will advance to the next slide. So that is how you do a voice overlay with PowerPoint. I hope this is helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reach out to us, and we can certainly go through the steps with you again. Good luck.